بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا تھرڈ لرننگ پیتھ ویژولائز اینڈ اینالائز دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک کریٹ اینڈ شیئر اسکور کارڈس اینڈ میٹرکس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن آئیڈینٹیفائی پیٹرنس اینڈ ٹرینڈس ان پاور بی آئی دیر از این آپشن ٹو کریٹ دا میٹرکس وچ آر پارٹ آف یور رپورٹس اینڈ ڈیش بورڈس and then to track them against the key business objectives or the KPIs and all of that can be done in a single pane which is called as a scorecard. So the process requires you to first create a blank scorecard and then you add manual metric. Then you can add those metric and create certain rules in order to track them and then once the score when you add enough metrics you can also share the scorecard with others other people in the organization so this is how the metric and scorecard combination can be used to clearly track the key business objectives for the organization so let's go to the power bi service and see how we can create the scorecard and then add metric to it and then finally we can see how we can share it with the other users so here i am inside the power bi workspace pl300 03a the workspace that we have used in some of the videos and in order to create a scorecard you need to have at least a contributor level access in the workspace and at least have a pro license so i am going to click here on the new option here and here i am going to find the option scorecard where the definition says define track and share key metrics for your organization so let me just click here on the scorecard and it is going to take me to a brand new page so here you can see that there is an untitled scorecard that has been created so i can just go and add value to it so let me just give it a value kpi tracker just uh, just giving a name to that so i have given the name kpi tracker to this particular scorecard and then i have the option to give a name to my metric so here i am going to give a name to my metric and the name that i am going to give is kpi 1 so you can give any name here if you want then you can add owners to that uh, to this particular metric so the one who is creating he's by default the owner but you can add other owners then is the part this is the main part so here you actually set the parameters for your metric so here you can add value manually or you can set it up by actually linking it with your data so let me just connect it to my data and it is going to open the reports which are there in my workspaces so let me just and here it is showing all the reports or all the apps in my workspaces so let me just click here on the sales analysis rls and then i'm going to click on next and once i click here then i can just pick a pick a measure inside my report and then i can say that okay i am using this to this as my metric and then i'm going to track this so i have just selected total sales and it has picked up the value and i'm going to say okay connect so here if you see it has picked up the value which was 44 million and now it is here in the current value then you have the option to actually give a final target and you can either connect it to another measure but i am going to give it a value which is manual so i'm going to give it a value of 50 million so here i have given it a value of 50 million and this is a value that is manual now i can actually set up the rules which i will be using to actually track or uh, basically monitor my metric so here let me just click here on the setup rules and now i'm going to click here on new rule so here you have the option to actually define a rule that can be based on one condition or it can be based on more than one condition so let's define a very simple rule so let me just come here and say that if the value is greater than let's say 48 million so let me just give a value of 48 million here so if i i'm i'm saying that if the value is greater than 48 million then change the status to on track so this is something that i can actually do so here i can even give any any value so maybe this this would make sense that i give a value of 44 million because that value has already been achieved so it will be easier easy for me to uh, to just check what what is the status and if the this is the if condition and the else condition or the otherwise condition is that otherwise change the status to let's say behind 
so i'm just giving out random values here so that i can actually go and and actually see what it is doing so this is the rule that i have created and i'm going to say okay save and then i need to actually give a date so I, i'm going to give a date in the past and then i'm going to give a date which is going to be in the future and then i'm going to click here on save so after a few seconds you can see that based on the rule that i created it has created this status that the this particular kpi which is kpi one which is related to my sales it the current value is this one the target value is this one and the date that this target is due is this one and here you are also seeing something now which is resembling a scorecard here it is showing that how many metrics are there so if there are more than one metric then it is going to be uh, showing the uh, that showing that number then what is the status of overall all the metrics so here one is on track and then you can see that the rest of the values are zero so this is how the scorecard actually works so this is how you can create more metrics and this is now how you can you have created a scorecard you can also if let me just uh, edit this so uh, let me just show you another thing but uh, you can explore that for your own uh, for your own learning and that is related to the that is related to creating the target value or the current value so here if i come here i have the option even to create sub metrics and i can create sub metrics and then maybe the value which is the value of this metric is a aggregation of this so maybe there are two or three things uh, that are working so this maybe total sales is dependent on two sub metrics and the overall result is based on the sum of those so i can create the this kind of a relationship also also i can create average max or min so depending on anything that i want i can actually go and actually you know pick up the current value or i can you know uh, create as the sub matrix if i want so this is a, a very powerful feature that is available in the in the power bi service and similar to how we have been sharing the reports and dashboards i can just go go there on the share option and share the scorecard with other people in the organization so i can even put it in the teams i can send a link i can even put it on an email so all of these options are possible so this is how you can create a scorecard and these are the metrics and you can create as many metrics as you want so this gives a one window overview to the management where they can just come and they can monitor all the very important key uh, very important metric that the business is actually tracking on a daily basis so the refresh rate of this is on a daily basis but you can also go and you can change the refresh rate of of this particular metric similarly on the metric if you come then you have the option to add notes so you can add notes on the metric if you want and then there are other details which are related to each metric so here you can see the details here you can also see the history of this how was this uh, configured and what are the, all the changes that have been taking place then you can also all view the the status rules the rule that we just created then the time period that how this uh, the, the the tracking of this metric should be done either it should be um uh, displayed as a percentage or an absolute value so i can i can actually do that here as well and all of these are available inside the settings for this particular kpi so this is how you can configure the metric and this you this is the way that you can put all those metrics in a scorecard so this is a very important feature so make sure that you understand how the configuration of this scorecard and metric is actually done so that's all for this particular topic and i'll catch up with you in the next one